Hello! In this video, we are going to examine soil water calculations. By the end of the video, we should be able to calculate gravimetric water content, volumetric water content, and soil bulk density. We should also be able to calculate the amount of water stored in the soil. First, we'll review elements necessary to calculate these values, and then we'll go over an example. Gravimetric water content, the weight of water per dry weight of soil, is calculated by dividing water mass by soil dry weight. To calculate water mass, we need to know the wet and dry weight of the soil. Volumetric water content is the weight of water per volume of soil. It is calculated by dividing water mass by soil core volume. We need to know the volume of soil collected in order to calculate volumetric water content. Soil bulk density is the dry weight of soil per unit volume. Bulk density is an important physical soil characteristic affecting root growth and soil permeability. Bulk density is calculated by dividing the soil dry weight by the soil core volume. Just like volumetric water content, we need to know the volume of soil sampled to calculate bulk density. Let's do some soil water calculations. First, what do we know about the soil? Here's an example. A soil core sample was collected from a forest soil. The core was 10 centimeters deep and had a radius of 2.5 centimeters. When wet, the soil core weighed 130.6 grams, and after drying, it weighed 101.3 grams. First, let's calculate what the gravimetric water content is of our above-mentioned soil. To do that, we can use the equation that we talked about earlier, water mass divided by soil dry weight. To figure out the water mass, we can use the given information. We can take the wet weight minus the dry weight to figure out how much water was in the soil. So if we take the wet weight, which was 130.6 grams, minus our dry weight of 101.3 grams, we can have the water mass. And once we uh, subtract those, we can just divide by the soil dry weight, which is still the 101.3 grams. So if we bring up our calculator, we can take the 130.6 minus 101.3, and that will give us the wet weight, which is 29.3 grams. And then we can divide that by the dry weight, which we already know, which is our 101.3 grams. So we'll bring up our calculator again. And we dividing by 101.3, and that gives us a gravimetric moisture content of 0 0.29 grams of water per gram of soil. So we know that our gravimetric water content is 0 0.29 grams of water per gram of soil, or we could say that there's 29% water in the soil. Let's use the same information, but this time, let's calculate the volumetric water content of our soil. To do this, we can use this equation, water mass divided by soil core volume. If you remember, we just calculated water mass on the previous uh, e calculation. So we know that the mass of the water is 130.6 minus 101.3 grams, which gives us 29.3 grams. We just need to divide that by the core volume. To calculate the volume, we need to know the volume of a cylinder. And to do that, we use the equation pi r squared, which is the radius squared, multiplied by height. To calculate the volume of our cylinder, or our soil core, we can use the information given to us in, in our example. First, we know that the radius is 2.5 centimeters. Now all we have to do is square that. And we also know that our height of our core is 10 centimeters. And to also figure out volume, we, we just need to know pi. So if we bring up our calculator and put in our information, so if we take pi, we can just use 3.14 multiplied by uh, 
squared, which is just 2.5 multiplied by 2.5. So we can just do that twice. And then if we multiply by our height, 10 centimeters, we get a volume of 196.25. And that will be in cubic centimeters. So now that we know our water mass and our soil core volume, we can just divide our mass by our volume and figure out what our volumetric moisture content is. So once again, we'll bring up our calculator. We'll take 29.3 divided by 196.25, and we get an answer of 0. 0.15 grams per cubic centimeter as our volumetric moisture content. Now that we've calculated gravimetric and volumetric water content, let's move on to calculating the soil bulk density of our sample. To calculate soil bulk density, we can use the equation we learned about in the slides, soil dry weight divided by core volume. And we know all this information already. We know that our soil dry weight is 101.3 grams. 3 grams. And we also know our core volume because we calculated that on the previous slide. So we know that our core volume was 196.35 cubic centimeters. Remember, we calculated this by taking the radius squared multiplied by height multiplied by pi to get the volume of a cylinder. Now that we have our dry weight and volume put into our equation, we can solve for bulk density. So we'll bring up the calculator, and we'll take 101.3 divided by 196.35, and we get the bulk density of 0 0.516 grams per cubic centimeter. This value can, t can tell us a lot about our soil. There is a shortcut to calculating these variables. If we know two of the three values, we can solve for the others. Here's the equation that can do this. We can The volumetric moisture content equals the bulk density multiplied by the gravimetric moisture content. Let's use the examples from above to see if that's true for soil volumetric moisture content. We know that our so we know that our bulk density was 0 0.516 grams per cubic centimeter, and we know that our gravimetric moisture content was 0 0.29 grams of water per grams of soil. So if we would multiply those two by each other, let's see if we can get what we calculated earlier for VMC. Let's use the calculator to see if we get the correct answer. So if we take 0.516 multiplied by 0.29, we get 0 0.15 grams per cubic centimeter, which is exactly what we got earlier. We can also use all of the information to calculate the amount of water stored in the soil. This is something that might be asked of you on a quiz or a test. Let's consider an additional question. For the above described soil, how many kilograms per hectare of water are there in the top 15 centimeters of this soil? This may seem complicated, but we have all the information we need. We already know the grams of water in a cubic centimeter. We just need to scale this up to kilograms per acre. So let's set up our equation. Remember when we learned about unit factor conversion, we always wanted to put our desired units on the left. So we know that we want to have kilograms per hectare. So let's just put those there to begin with. We can just use the volumetric water content, depth, and some conversion factors to get our answer. We can use the volumetric uh, moisture content of 0 0.15 grams of water per cubic centimeter, which is helpful that we already can factor this out because now we know how much water is in one cubic centimeter. And we also know the depth of 15 centimeters because that was given to us up here in the equation. Now from there all we have to do is use some unit conversion factors to figure out this on a kilogram per hectare basis. 
the first thing we can do is to find out what we need to do to get from grams for kilograms. Well, to do that, we just need to have the kilograms on top uh, and the grams on the bottom so the grams can cancel out with the ones from the volumetric moisture content. So that would just be there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. Now that we have our grams canceled out, we can try to get our cubic centimeters canceled out to get to hectares. One conversion factor we know is that there are 10,000 square meters in a hectare. So that will help us. But we still need to be able to cancel our cubic centimeters out. Right now, we only have one centimeter um, on the board, so we need to be able to cancel that out. And what, what we can do to do that is to figure out how many centimeters there are in a meter. So uh, we're going to continue further down here, but we can multiply all of this by 100 centimeters per meter. And we also need to cancel out our square meter, so we can just square this whole thing to be able to cancel the cubic centimeters and the square meters uh, to get our answer. So first let's see, before we do any calculations, if we've actually canceled out all of our units. Okay, it looks like both of our grams are gone. And our centimeters cubed, we have one here and two here. And then our square meters, square meters, it looks like all we have left are kilograms per hectare. So let's bring up our calculator and see what happens if we do uh, our calculation here. So we have 0.15 multiplied by 15 divided by 1000 multiplied by 10,000. multiplied 100 squared, which is can be 100 multiplied by 100, which gives us an answer of 225,000 kilograms per hectare of water. 225,000 kilograms per hectare. In this video, we learned how to calculate some useful soil water related values and use these values in a water storage problem. In the future, you may see these types of problems, both the water related values and the water storage problem, on a quiz or test, or maybe even in a lab.